In this video I'm going to show you how to make a multiplication bingo card using software called Bingo Card Printer which you can download from bingocardprinter.com Ok, this is the initial screen. First of all I click Create New Bingo Card Project and I choose the type of bingo card that I would like to create. Uh, since I'm doing multiplication I will go to the Math tab and I will scroll down here and I will find some options related to multiplication. Uh, multiplication easy, easier medium, tough and toughest. I can select the one I want, in this case easiest, and I can either double click or select it and click OK, and there's my example multiplication bingo card. I can actually edit this item, I can add new items, I can delete items, I can change the order of items, um, but I'll leave that for now. Um, the sample bingo card here contains the list of items in the same order as in this window, but in the real bingo cards they will be shuffled about into a random order. You can also change the bingo card size, so for example, I can make a 4x4 or a 6x6 bingo card. I can change the heading, um, and uh, I can also change whether or not to have the free space in the middle, and if so, what it will actually say. I can change the formatting, I can change colors and fonts. So, for example, I will change the header color to be um, a light pink background with. Uh, blue writing. Just to show you an example there. I can also change the individual cells, colours, the free space colour and so on. You can choose whether or not to print the call list, which is basically a list of the uh, items here in a random order, which saves drawing items out of a hat or something like that if you're playing bingo in a classroom situation. Um, you can choose how many bingo cards to print per page. The more I print per page, obviously the smaller each bingo card will be. But if I'm prepared to cut paper up, I can save quite a lot of paper doing that. Uh, but I'll leave that on one, and I can choose how many bingo cards in total I want to print. Um, so if I was preparing bingo cards for a classroom situation, I'd put the number of students in my class, assuming one bingo card per student. I, uh, it's eight at the moment. I could make, make, make that 80 or 800 or 8,000. So it's very easy to produce large numbers of bingo cards very quickly. Uh, so let's say 25, which is a typical number in a uh, class. Narrow to print. I'll do print preview so you can see on screen the results. The first page is the call list. Here you can see the items in random order. Um, I'll zoom out a bit so you can see the whole page. Next is the first bingo card. Again, um, the items here are random order. And if I do the next page, it's a different bingo card. And the next page is a different bingo card, and so on. That's basically it. If you go to bingocardprinter.com, you can download a free trial version of the software and I hope you'll like it and when you like it you click the register button, follow the instructions and upgrade to the full version of the program. Thank you very much. Go to bingocardprinter.com. Thank you.